This is the best defense to use in Madden 24 right now. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. It shuts down the run. It's instant sacks. <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what unstoppable new defense I'm using, the results like this. Got he. he could go all the way. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys gameplay from another one of my online CFM games that I made with 32 subscribers not too long ago. If you guys want a chance to be in this league or possibly another league that I start soon, I will leave links to the Discord server in the description below. The defense that I'll be using again today is out of my 3-3 odd as this has been the only defense that I've used in Madden for the last several months and recently even the best Madden player on the planet showed the world just how good his defense is by using the blitz that I'm going to show you guys today to win a million dollars in the Madden Challenge Championship this year. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the video and the channel, and I appreciate the support. For my coaching adjustments, I just want to make sure to turn my auto flip off so I can flip the play while I'm in the huddle, as this is crucial to both my base defense and the blitz that I'm going to show you guys today. For my substitutions, the most important position is this outside linebacker spot here, as he is the joker or the rover defender that really doesn't have a responsibility and can do whatever it is you want him to do on most plays. But he is rarely actually rushing the quarterback's so I want to put my best off-ball coverage linebacker, and even though he is slower than I like, I recently took a chance on making a trade for Dre Greenlaw from the 49ers, as he has a 75 man in a 79 zone, and I really don't have a linebacker that fits that description. I also put my best man coverage safety in rookie Sidney Brown at one of the other linebacker spots, and my fastest linebacker in Nolan Smith at the other, as he'll be rushing the quarterback a lot in this scheme. On the first play, I choose the Sam Mike 1, which is a base defense that I highlighted in my last gameplay video. Normally to set this play up, I just put Dre Greenlaw on a hard flat to the open side of the field, or the side that has the most receivers, as he runs for a few yards on the first play before hitting the speed out route to get close to the first down in the second play. So on third and two, I switched to my best run defense in the cover for a drop and this is because the safeties will play the run first as long as I don't guess pass so the only adjustment that I really have to make is to bring the safeties down closer to the line of scrimmage so they can help out sooner but I also pitch the defensive line to make it harder to run up the middle and since he only needs two yards I will hard flat to defend that as he tries to hit the fullback underneath gotcha, bitch. but the hard flat is all over it and we start the game out with a pick six before we even give up a first down he comes down to three tight end cell in the next play, so anytime that I see that, I usually stay in my cover four, because I assume most players would rather run from a formation like this, as he runs an RPO play, before running an end around the next play to get to a third and six, and change into his first shotgun formation of the game, before picking up the first down a wheel route underneath outside. I switch to cover one on the next play, and he beats me with a big run outside to get into field goal range, before hitting the running back in the flats to get into the deep red zone. From here, my cover four defense steps up big time as we push him back Backwards before he comes out an empty backfield look on the next play and even though he needs a plus I still hard flat in this situation because the biggest weakness is the area underneath the outside cornerbacks and this adjustment will cover that up as nothing gets open on the next play before he decides to roll out and playmaker his receiver up the field allowing him to push in the right stick and send the hard flat defender after the quarterback and forcing a bad throw that is intercepted in the end zone. On offense, I was mostly using the iPhone close at the time of this video, but I will mostly be focusing on defense. So if you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses I'm using in today's video, I'll once again have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. As I slowly and methodically work my way down the field with run plays and short passes until I switch to my gun stack Y flex offense to get into the red zone. And I should have stuck with the iPhone close because I get a little too creative no! and end up throwing a pick six of my own to make this a tie game. God damn it! 
I try to respond on offense, but I get a bad throw on third and long and have to punt away, but this is a defensive video anyways, so I decide to play more aggressively and switch things up, which brings me to the blitz that today's video is about. I mentioned in a previous video that I made about this defense in a practice mode breakdown that you can really run this blitz from like five to six different defenses in this formation, but my favorite two are probably the cover three cloud and the cover three sky, as I find the cover three cloud probably has the best deep coverage, but the cover three sky is the easiest to set up. The first step is to flip the play in the huddle, then just pinch the entire defense by pressing the RB or the R1 button and down the left stick. After that, I like the baseline to back my cornerbacks off so they don't get burnt as easily by pressing the wire triangle button and right on the left stick. After that, you just have to blitz either middle linebacker, but I will mostly be using Nolan Smith because he is the fastest. You just have to make sure that he is behind the defensive tackle with his blitz angle facing in this direction as he comes in free screaming up the A-gap and forcing another bad pass. I run again on the next play and this time we get the sack instantly to push him back to a third and 20. A week ago. But one of the biggest weaknesses of this cover three is the seams between the safety and the cornerback. So I often try to man slot receivers in that area, but he sees that and throws it to the tight end and stay on the other side of the field to get to fourth and two. So I go back to the cover four with hard flats and he tries to go back to Kyle Hughes check in the flats once again. How about new? And we go right back to that iPhone close stretch run to score on the very next play. Back on defense, now that I've shown you three different plays, I'm going to show you guys how I choose which one to use against my opponent, and it's really based off of my opponent's offensive formation. If I see a run heavy formation like a single back or an I form, I'm going to use my cover for a drop with hard flats as we push him backwards for a one yard loss. And this is because the safeties play the run so well that he actually made the play for a one yard loss in the backfield. The blitz I was showing you is best against gun offenses, so when I see him switch to the gun on the next play, I switch to the cover three blitz, and you can see how the pressure forces a quick throw underneath that he turns into a first down. My last play is the cover one man, which is something I mostly use to stop RPOs, as I find this is the most consistent way to stop things like bubble screens. No! as he tries an RPO on the next play and gets shut down on the run. I stay in cover one the next play as this is still a good option on third and long as the hard flat defender on the wide side of the field forces a short side throw. Got him. His defense stands up pretty tall though as he forces me into a third and long that I barely pick up before I go back to pound the rock to both kill clock and get inside the five before calling a hurry up to keep him in this smaller defense and punching in to take a two touchdown lead before half. But he still has a lot of time to make something happen, so I stay in cover one man and put the hard flat to the open side of the field that also has all the receivers, and we almost get an interception on the very next play. From here, I decide that I'm going to send some more A-gap blitz pressure, but I want to hide what zone coverage I'm doing it from, so whenever I do this, I find it's best to hide the coverages pre-snap by going into my coaching adjustments and setting my auto alignment to base. As I turn this on and off based on whether or not I'm using man or zone, as auto alignment works much better when using zone coverages. I choose cover through class out on the next play because I find this coverage confuses people the most and the blitz works the exact same way as we push him back to a third and 23 before picking the exact same coverage and getting the exact same results. <laughs> as Nolan Smith scores a safety this time. I get great starting field position as well, and I want to at least get a field goal out of this drive, so I go to my cover three bomb to get inside the 10 and use my last timeout with 18 seconds left. And even though I'm all out of timeouts, I want to try and score. So when I see he's still in cover three, I make a risky flat adjustment that I think will either score, run out of bounds, or end the half. And luckily I get the best results out of all of them. I get the ball back in the second half too, and I plan to just run the clock a little bit, but once I see him press the entire defense, I just go over the top to extend my lead. Break yourself, fool! As this game suddenly became a blowout just before half. From here, I'm using a lot of cover four, kind of like a prevent, only I keep doing the hard flat setup since this is the biggest weakness to cover up as he barely gets a first on the next play, but he only got that separation because he was at the center of the hash marks, as he tries to do it again on the next play to the short side of the field, gotcha, bitch. and Dre Greenlaw gets a pick six in his first game as an eagle, but he felt really slow during the return, and I thought that he might get caught. And from here, all I'm running is cover four to prevent big plays, to let him kill clock with his own offense, before I get him to a third and long from midfield, and he tries to use the same deep crossing play against me, but I lurk it with Sidney Brown for another interception. I eventually score again, and he does too late in the fourth, fourth quarter for his only offensive touchdown of the game, but I will take pitching a shutout for three and a half quarters, as I try to run clock on my next drive before eventually getting a wide open lane, so I take it as I'm trying to get Swift some kind of yearly award. Then with under two minutes left, I thought he would try to run clock two, so I just stay in my cover four, and somehow get a fumble, as nothing is going right for my opponent right now. 
as I score another touchdown with the exact same stretch run to push the game to its final score of 65 points, my second highest scoring output of the year by only one point. And both Nolan Smith and DeAndre Swift got player of the week for their performances, but to be fair, I knew going into the game that my opponent was dealing with some personal issues, and he was not at his best as our first game was much closer. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the offenses or defenses I was using in today's video, I'll have links to them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.